Hey, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's learn something new together and let's improve our lives. By the way, if you like this video, I want you to consider giving it a like and please subscribe to this channel. My name's Matt Easton. I want to be your new best friend. If you want more tips on how to be successful both in business and life, give this channel a follow. Well, I had uh, an opportunity come up in the state of Illinois with a national recycling company. Mm -hmm. uh, they've sent me a comp plan and now they're flying me out, um, not sure of the date yet, to see the plant and discuss moving forward. Okay. And I'd love to nail the opportunity and was wondering how you would go about something like that. I have you covered, Joanne. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. When you say comp plan, I'm assuming this is a job interview they're flying you out for and you want that position, correct? Yes. Okay. It's no different than any other sale, but you're selling yourself. And I'm going to give you a secret and don't let me down because I have a 100% track record on this. I have back when I worked in the corporate world, this is what I did. I received a job offer every single time I flew out and did this. Everybody that I have been nice enough to share this little bit of intel with has gotten a job offer. This is called the Matt Easton, I'm gonna trademark it right now, the Matt Easton binder approach. Here's how it works, okay? Joanne, do you know, if you don't know, I want you to find out who are you meeting with in that day, okay? Do you know who you're meeting? Okay, how many people are you meeting with? Two. Two, okay, great. Do you know their names and titles? Yes. Fantastic. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to make four binders, okay? Go to Office Max, Office Depot, Staples. I don't care. They're not paying me to, to plug them, so wherever you want. I want you to get the quarter-inch thick binders, so the thinner ones. Don't get some big three-ring binder, okay, because you're not going to be able to travel with those. The, but it needs to be the eight and a half by 11. I want you to get four. Here's why I want you to get four. You're meeting with two people. Okay, so you need one binder for each person. So there's two. One binder for yourself. And then I want you to bring a spare. Okay, because they're might going to throw a third party at you. On the two people that you're meeting with, I want their names on the front of the binder. Okay, I also want the company logo on the front of the binder. I want your name. So company logo, your name, and then the job title that you're applying for. Let's call it director of sales or whatever it is, right? So your name, first, last director of sales, and then in smaller print at the bottom, their name. Inside this binder, when you open the binder, you're going to bring a resume, correct? I have, yeah. Okay, good. Have. Yeah, everybody just brings a resume. Resumes are garbage. David in the UK can back me up on this. It's not very helpful. A resume is not very helpful in trying to hire somebody. So your resume is going to sit in that front pocket of the binder. When they open up the binder, the first page, I want you to go into your Easton University. We're going to run this like a sales call, and you're going to have your, your letter in there that is going to be the one sentence, hey, based on my understanding, and then you're going to have your three categories, current situation, capabilities needed, and next steps. In your current situation, I want you to put just three or four sentences about what they are trying to do. Your, is it a territory they're hiring you for, Joanne? It's national. Okay. You are looking for a national person to grow your, I think you had said, recycling business. Do better than this. I'm just pulling this out of my butt, right? You're ready to expand. You want to grow market share by 15% over 2023 and then bump, bump, bump. So that's the role that they're hiring for. And then capabilities needed. I want you to put bullet points in there. You need somebody that's a fast starter, that can close business, that can hunt business on their own, that can prospect, that can operate autonomously and will represent the brand to the highest degree or whatever it is. Again, I just pulled those out of my butt, right? Next steps. I am currently in uh, Miami-Dade. I am you know, in, involved in solar. I am able to make the transition into this role. Based on my understanding of your situation, I have all of the capabilities that you need to grow the business by 13% and, or, and more. I can start January 7th, okay? Now, behind that sheet, now I know this sounds crazy, but go to Word and print out line sheets, put their logo in the top right-hand corner, just make black lines, that you can write on. Down here, make a box and either put like a grid or make that box empty so you can draw inside of that box, have their logo on it, have your name over here, and then 
What you're going to do when you sit down with each of those meetings is you're going to run this just like an Eastern University sales call. Let's say it's Barry that you're meeting with. Hey, Barry, I'm so excited to be here. Now what you're going to do, you're going to put a little guilt. This is what I do when I fly out, right? You're going to let them know the effort you put in. I was so excited all night last night when I was getting ready to fly out when I was at the airport today. I was thinking about this meeting on my flight from Florida over to, I think you had said, uh, Indiana, wherever they are, right? was thinking about you guys the whole three hours. Hey, before we get started, I want to make sure that we cover everything that you want to cover. Do you mind if I just kind of quickly recap my understanding of your current situation and the capabilities you need in this role? They're going to be like, you're going to watch their head literally explode. They're going to be like, holy smacks, right? Like phew, nobody's ever done this in an interview because interviews suck. And people that interview for sales jobs suck at selling in that interview. I'm not saying they suck at selling, but they put the resume over there and they're like, tell me about you spend your whole time, David in the UK, back me up on this. You interview somebody and they spend their whole time talking about their previous employers, their past. They don't bring you any new ideas. They don't show that they're enthusiastic. They're not like, hey, based on my understanding, I can jumpstart this. I believe I can bring in an additional 13% in top line revenue based on my independent research that I did. Company did 7.8 million last year. I believe we can, I can add another 900,000 to 1.2 million in top line revenue, right? You want, as an employer, you want somebody that's going to bring you new ideas, that's going to bring you momentum, that's going to bring you incitement, bring you enthusiasm, show you that they're prepared. And those binders are going to knock their socks off. So you're going to go through that. Then you're going to just basically Easton University. Great. I'm glad we're on the same page on this. What's the most important thing we need to cover during this meeting? And then let them tell you. And every time they steer the conversation to your past experience or you, you personally, Joanne, I want you to redirect that to their needs. Right? So when you're asking about what I've done in solar, can you give me a specific example of you know, what you're looking for in success that you want to relate into this role? Because far too often when we interview, it's a freaking speed date and all we do is talk about ourselves. And if you talk about yourself in a date, the other person is never going to want to see you again. We need to talk about them. So I want you to prepare these binders, okay? One for each person, one for yourself, and a spare. Then, and I know I'm crazy here, Joanne, but you're going to get the job. In the pocket of each binder, I want you to tuck in two, one, two, pens. Why two? Because you are so damn prepared that you're ready if a pen is defective or doesn't work, you've got a spare. There's two inside yours, two inside each person you're meeting with, and two inside the spare. When you pull that out, every time I have ever interviewed, and I'm talking, these are positions I've interviewed for with $500,000 base salaries. That damn binder has sat. There are CEOs in this country right now, if you go into their office, my damn binder is in their bookshelf. They are that impressed with it. Nobody has ever gone into a job interview and been that prepared. Skip, great to meet you. I've got something for you. Mike, great to meet you. And then whip out your own. You have to have your own because you don't want to be leaning over their shoulder pointing things out. Hey, if we move to the first page, this is just a quick review of my understanding of the current situation, capabilities you guys need in this role, and then kind of some thoughts on next steps on where we could go from here. Do you mind if I just kind of walk you through 30,000 foot flyby of, of my understanding of what's going on so I can make sure we're on the same page and then rock and roll. Joanne, you have this. Make these binders. It will work. Any questions? Hey, I hope you loved the video. If you didn't already subscribe, please consider doing so and leave a comment. I want to hear from you. Give the video a like. That's all I ask. I'll see you on the next one.